I know you feel like once you run out and buy that IT product, a new one launches and that becomes the new IT product. I want to save you guys some money. That is going to be my goal in today's video. So wish me luck. I am going to apply and compare two of Huda Beauty's easy bake powders in different shades. And in full transparency, I did not pay for these. These were sent my way. I was gifted banana bread a few months ago. I'm gonna say about a month and a half, two months ago. I've been using it for a while. However, when it originally launched a while, a while, a while ago, I purchased one myself. And in fact, I really liked the one that I had purchased. So the moment I saw this in the mail, I was like, okay, kudos. Thank you so much for the gift because I actually like this setting powder. Was really excited about it. Then I see they released a pink one. I received the pink one in the mail maybe three weeks ago. She's still closed so this is all gonna be first impressions. But I also just saw that they released a peach one. Am I getting the peach one in the mail mija? Yo no sé. I don't know. But this is why I want to do this comparison. I've not tried the pink. I know I like banana bread. So if you already own the loose setting powder, do you absolutely need to get all the new ones that launch? I, I don't know. But that's what we're gonna find out today. Could you imagine? Could you just imagine that I love the pink so much that I end up needing the, the freaking peach one? I wanted to make sure I went on to the Sephora website to look into Huda Beauty so that I can compare what they're each said to do because depending on the color, they're gonna do something slightly different, supposedly. These go for $38 a piece and you're gonna get a lot of product in it. So it's not necessarily bad. You're getting 20 grams of powder. These are gonna last you 18 months once you open it. They have 10 shades available in the full size and the shades are limited to five in mini. The lighter one has a little bit of a yellow hue. It is called Banana Bread. Banana Bread is intended for light, medium and tan skin tone. Golden undertones brighten and disguise under eye darkness. I really like this. I have only concealer under the eye and as you can see I have like th this hollow in here and it's slightly dark even though I have concealer. I find that this powder does kind of brighten it, make me look a little more awake. So I really like it. I just removed cherry blossom out of its packaging. It has a pinky hue. So here you have the two shades for comparison. Cherry Blossom is a sheer soft pink. It'll brighten and disguise under eye darkness. Sounds like they're gonna do the same thing. One thing is what it's described to do and another thing is whether or not it's actually going to look the same under the eye. So I'm gonna open them both up. Here is the difference. I will tap into the pink. I'm going to press just so that I can remove excess powder. And I brought my mirror up close. I am going to tap Cherry Blossom under the eye. It smells delicious, but I love how this powder smells in general. A lot of people don't like the fragrance. I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to press, 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 press. I still have to set my T-zone. Again, I literally, anywhere that I applied concealer, I skipped on any powder because I didn't want to seem kind of sketch when I'm doing my review. Y'all know I like to be like 100 with you guys. So that was just the one dip. I still have product on the back of my hand. And if I just kind of want to get rid of it, I go back in and I press. I do not bake, even though it's called easy bake. I don't bake the under eye. I don't think it's necessary, especially if you have a beautiful product. That pink looks good under the eye, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really pretty. Is it life-changing? I think I still need to see banana bread under the eye because that's what I'm used to. That way I can see the comparison. But it definitely makes a difference. It definitely brightened and looks good. And it doesn't look pink. Here's thing about Huda. She knows how to do a powder. I'm not mad at her. I'm actually glad I got it because I was wondering if it would look good on my olive complexion. I've tried two other loose powders. One brand, I can't remember the name. The other is Gerard Cosmetics. I liked the pink hue of the Gerard Cosmetics, but it had little uh, shimmer flecks. So I would mix the banana shade with the pink to create my perfect shade. This here, it looks stunning. And I know it's $38, but I personally like this one under the eye way more than the pink one from Gerard Cosmetics, just saying. 
You can bring it all the way in here, press, press, bring out, damn. Like the eye looks snatched and this one looks like it needs help. Okay, I'm gonna grab my sponge and I'm just gonna do one of these, you know, cause I'm not gonna open a new sponge just for this little trial. Then I'm gonna dip into banana bread. Same thing, cause your girl don't cheat nobody. <laughs> Your girl don't cheat nobody, ping, 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 ping. And if you're new here, yes, I am Cookie, and this is what we do here, and we love to have fun. So I went like this. I feel like they kind of smell different. The what? I'm sniffing stuff here now. No, I'm wrong. They smell the same. It smells amazing. I'm gonna take the yellow, and I will add that under the eye. If you hear noises and see movement, it's not a ghost. Some people thought I had a ghost in the room. That's my kid. <laughs> I haven't fully looked because I need to look at the viewfinder. I have the, it's my vision, right? I want you to cast your vote in the comment section. Do you prefer the pink side or the yellow side? Cherry blossom or banana bread? I'm looking at it, you guys. I kind of feel like it looks the same, but it doesn't. Like here. I kind of like cherry blossom better. Mm. I was hoping to prove the whole situation wrong and just be like, listen, if you already have a yellow toned one, the banana bread one, it, your setting powder is, is fine. You don't have to run out and buy a new one. But I just find that cherry blossom on my complexion is definitely more brightening. And I'm not mad at it. It looks freaking beautiful. And again, I like that it doesn't. I'm putting cherry blossom on top of the other one because I just have to. I want to balance it out. I think it looks freaking stunning. See how brightening it is? Okay, so this is what I would do just because I am me. I like that really bright under eye situation. Like that's just my vibe. But then I technically only really need to set my T-zone to make sure that my concealer is set. So I would go in with banana bread. Yeah, there I go using two powders. I would go in with banana bread to set other areas where I apply concealer, like up here. And you guys know I cut my brows with my concealer. So I would use banana bread specifically for those tasks. And then cherry blossom under the eye. I really don't want this brightness everywhere. I think it'll wash me out and totally change up the look and it's gonna look weird. It's gonna look a little masking if I apply cherry blossom on the center of my forehead. I'm gonna balance out the eye now that we've set the concealer. I can apply a very small amount of mascara. Honestly, did you notice it? I noticed a difference. I was not expecting to notice a difference. So here's, here's, here's the truth. Do you need to go and get the powder? No. If you already own one of your Huda Beauty Easy Bake powders and you absolutely love it, do not run out and buy another one. They're all technically supposed to do the same thing. They're gonna brighten. They're going to balance out the under eye. That way it doesn't look super dark. And even like the new one that just launched, the peach, it literally says medium to tan with warm undertones. And it's supposed to do the very same thing. You don't have to run out and buy every new powder that has launched. But if you are on the market for a new powder, girl, they definitely have options and they're coming up with new shades as time goes on. As always, sound off in the comments section. I'd love to hear your thoughts and let's thank our channel members, the G-Squad. Thank you for joining channel memberships and supporting the channel. You guys, if you're interested in joining channel memberships, all you need to do is hit the join button below any of my videos. YouTube will provide you with your very own badge, letting everyone know that you are a channel member. They will also highlight every single one of your comments under my videos and you unlock exclusive member only perks. And I have so many things in the works as we speak. So I'm really excited for my channel members. Keep your eyes on the screen. YouTube is recommending a video that I think you're really, really gonna enjoy. And I'm also adding a playlist filled with way more beauty content. I think you would have a blast watching. So I hope to see you guys there. And I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye guys.